All right. Now, you saw his art at the top of the program. We went to a quick... Look at this motherfucker! I'm t trying to talk to fucking Jared, and you're here Hello. slamming me in the face. Sorry, I had to deal with uh, uh, an elite villain. Oh. Within the game, mind you. Yeah, I have this game too. It's pretty fun. Do you like it? I feel like yeah. there's a been there's been some hate on this. Yeah. People are like, "Oh, glad I canceled my pre-order." It's what, fucking what? repetitive. It's like I don't know. I don't really understand. Like, if you played the beta, you know what you got into. It's a first-person shooter. They're all repetitive. At least you could level up. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I, I like the moon. You can you get to go to the moon. Oh, I have not gone to the moon yet. Maybe after I figure out what the fuck I'm doing here, I'll go to the moon. See, that's two shots. It takes three to kill. I got you. Now I know what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm having fun with it. Cool. So, but uh, my question this week is... Uh, it's two-parter. One, uh, have you seen Shauna May yet? Sean's, um, you know, I watched Shauna May for the first time today. I saw... Uh -huh. a, I, I was at work, so I only had a chance uh, while my boss wasn't in the room. To, uh, to go and check out Shauna May, Season 2. He opened on uh, Episode 9 of a series I had never heard of. Uh, <laughs> it sounds like a great... I want to I wanna sit in with him. and I know he had Kevin. Kevin really dropped the ball this last week. What the fuck? I know. And it was... Uh, fuck you! It was pretty messed up. But uh, I'd like to f tell Sean that I, I'd love to fill in for Kevin and help him out with the show next time. Uh, Maybe what, he could get me on what, one. What anime and what episode would you want him to, uh... Well, I think the fun of it is if you don't know what the fuck's going on <laughs> and you've never heard or seen the show. Now, it might be interesting if Sean has me on and we watch an episode of a show that I'm very familiar with. You know, that could be uh -huh. interesting, too. Yeah. Just to hear his take of what's going on and then I could actually explain what's going on. It might be a, it might add a new aesthetic. But maybe yeah. he needs to wait till season two for something like that. I don't want to change this whole format up. Yeah. But, um... Yeah. Yeah. I'd like it if you saw the uh, first el episode of Elf and Lead. I don't know if you've ever seen that show. Oh, yeah. I've watched, I have watched all of Elf and Lead. That's actually a, a series I've seen. Yeah. That first, ep like, that first 15 minutes of that show. <laughs> Interesting. It's, it's pretty crazy. I don't remember exactly what the first 15 minutes are like, but uh, yeah. it's a very sexualized uh, program <laughs> in general. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty crazy. And then I was also wondering if... Uh, there were any obscure anime shows that you particularly liked that not a lot of people talk about? Yeah, I mean, I don't... Uh, the, the reason I think it would be fun to sit in with Sean and do uh, an episode of uh, Sean Ame is because I really dislike a lot of current anime uh, or recently released anime. I think that they put out... I mean, the market has become so flooded with chaff. It's just mm. shit. There's so yeah. much shit. And uh, I really like a lot of old... What I what I was first... Uh, I, I don't know how you... What the fuck am I trying to say, Jared? <laughs> what I was first exposed to was a lot of 1980s and early 90s stuff. So yeah, I wow. like a lot of... I mean, I have a special place in my heart for Vampire Hunter D, the original film. But that's a very popular, mm. very large, widely known series. Ninja Scroll is another film uh, that no, I... No, that, that would be a good Sean and May the movie. <laughs> that would be that'd be good. But I don't know. Maybe a lot of kids now aren't familiar with Ninja Scroll, the film. Yeah. Um, oh, I, I'm familiar with that. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you you're, you seem like you know what's up. That, that, that snake scene. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude. But, I mean, taken from, taken from uh, Japanese lore. I mean, these are not perversions for the sake of perversion these are things talked about in japanese mythology you know yeah these characters uh the snake woman i'm a big fan of the snake woman this is like where i started i'm exploring and i found that uh not a lot going on in the cosmodrome here on old russia or a lot i mean i'm not really paying attention to what my uh, what's 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 the ghost? Is that what the thing is called? It does. Yeah. It tells me what to do. Peter, but I've, Peter Dinklage. Yeah, it's Mr. Dinklage here. Oh shit! I shouldn't have gone there. Whoops. Reviving. Thank you, whoever's been following me around here. Grandma's computer. Hey, shouts out, brother. I'm gonna do that robot for you. 
and have a seat. All right. Um, fuck, now if I could just get out of here. I see there's like a blinking... It's behind me now. It's always changing where I'm supposed to go. No, now mm -hmm. here it is. Oh, this is where we're supposed to go. Yeah, I originally got into anime because of Toonami. Oh, yeah. So. Back in the Dragon, day. Dragon Ball Z and Gun Yu Yu Hakusho. Yeah. Roroni Kenshin. I've actually been watching a show called Hunter x Hunter. Yeah, I heard that name. It's on Netflix now. Any good? And, uh, yes, it's really good. The guy, really? apparently someone told me the, the guy who did Yu Yu Hakusho actually did Hunter x Hunter. Okay. I, you know, I've just seen episodes of uh, Yu Yu Hakusho and Inuyasha and stuff like that. And uh, it was always just whatever. It was if I never watched him like in a row, so I didn't know um, any overlying story stuff. But I would watch Inuyasha, especially for some reason. I watched a lot of Inuyasha when it was on. It was always on Adult Swim. Like, yeah, and, and I would end up just watching a shit ton of that. Whoa, Nightfall. Yeah, Ooh, Inuyasha, just... Cowboy Bebop, which comes out in December. Bebop's great. Can't wait for that Blu-ray. Yes. Shouts out to Funimation. Shouts out Funimation. <laughs> Our boy's holding it down. Uh, I tell, I tell you, you what. what. That's what I was looking for. Stereo. Well, Jared, I don't know if I really answered the question. I mean, Ninja Scroll, an old movie. I don't know if a lot of people are into that. Uh, uh, AD Police Files. Great. I've never heard of that one. So. AD Police Files is a fucking great little spinoff of a series called Bubblegum Crisis. Oh, okay. And uh, of of Bubblegum Crisis, Bubblegum Crash, and all the other little spinoffs that that got, AD Police Files I think it was my favorite. Yeah, that's great. If you if you can there, find there that, there is one on Netflix oh, I've been lot. watching, and it was it wasn't it was like made in the nineties, like late nineties. Yeah. Yeah. And was... shouts out, a lot of these fucking old series, man, you can find them on YouTube. People <laughs> have just put illegal uploads and no one gives a shit about taking them down. Yeah. Plus, the the one the one thing I hate about anime is though when they redub stuff. Like, they did that redub of Akira, and I was like, yeah. Yeah, if you can get Japanese dialogue, especially in the 80s. The guys <laughs> at Funimation know what they're doing, and the guys that owned all the Pioneer distributed stuff, like Bebop... They knew what they were doing in the 90s, but the dubbers of the 1980s just did not fucking cut it. I mean, it's like, just, I, I, shouts out to a lot of those people who worked on, <coughs> I, I probably know a lot of them, like, I'm sure the guys that did the, all the old Power Rangers stuff, they got their start in, like, old 80s anime and stuff. Brian Cranston did Power Rangers. Yes, Brian Cranston <laughs> and, and uh, Kylie Bear and all those fucking guys. But, um, yeah, man, uh... It's just dog shit. The dubbing. <laughs> Sometimes that's all you get, though. And that's almost the appeal, because the 80s animation is pretty ugly. Sometimes you get a lot of round faces or a lot of real pointy mm -hmm. chins. Two things that just didn't really appeal to me. Uh, yeah. Check out uh, Gunsmith Cats. Loved oh, Gunsmith okay. Cats. Short. Short. And it's got enough fan service and cuteness and then cool storyline stuff. Oh, Devil Walker. This will. This is something in the fucking alpha that I could never get. Oh, and they oh. just fucking. I thought they just killed it right before I got here. <laughs> I was like, oh god damn it. Oh, they did. Event uh, complete. Did I get fucking? Okay, uh, so I showed up and it's they killed it. So mm -hmm. I don't think I got any of the. Oh, god damn it. Too little, too late, Jared. That's how it's the story well, of my there life. There it is. Oh, uh, uh, never mind. I don't think I got shit though. It was literally event joined, event completed. <laughs> so, uh, fuck me. But yeah, I like, it depends on, on the series, whether I like listening to the dub or, or just watching in subtitle. Yeah, I, I mean, like, I like dubs for certain things because then I can do other stuff while. While? Yeah. Yeah. That's true. I, you know what? I've been having a real problem aside from, uh, like eating dinner. Mm -hmm. I cannot do uh, like when I sit down to watch something I have to focus 100% of my attention on it and mm -hmm. and I found that this has become something that I do with podcasts God quit getting off of your fucking motorcycle I'm sorry your sparrow such a beautiful <laughs> name ride the sparrow 
Ooh, what's the... Oh, my God. Get on the fucking sparrow. Flip the sparrow. Get on the sparrow. Look at it. This piece uh, of shit. I don't know what the boost... I'm trying to remember. See, I'm so, like all sideways. What, what were you talking about? about podcast podcast Woo! Yeah. Since... Sorry. Since... Uh, that's why I got you here, to keep me on track. Uh, that's... Oh, that's the boost, and this is the corner, right? Boost... Oh, I'm going to boost right off the map. Boost. Corner. Boost. Corner. Jump off. And oh, I missed. I missed with the fucking. I wanted to flash him right in the face. Get out of here. See, maybe I do need the knife. Maybe the fucking class that I'm using isn't what I'm. My run and gun style. It's just by, not, by, the, by the way, did Derek really take this to camp time? Not conducive. I'm sure he did. They're late. They're they're not lazy. <laughs> well, that too. They're greedy motherfuckers about the goddamn treats in the PO box. That's why, dude. The guy who uh, runs the Japanese candy store. Tweeted uh, at me, shouts out uh, for the name I don't remember because it's in Japanese, but he tweeted at me. He's like, "I saw you swipe that gum when you <laughs> left the fucking podcast." I'm like, "Fuck yeah!" Because it ain't gonna be here tomorrow. <laughs> a lot of times they open shit from the fucking PO box, and then I get here to a ransacked box of wrappers. They're oh. animals, man. They are greedy animals. Oh, I was, I, I, I was, and and man. the fucking pisser of it is. <laughs> I was opening my Japanese Kit Kats that I was sent two weeks ago in the uh, package that I received to share with everyone. When uh, I got up, everyone started fucking with them <laughs> and trying to hide them from me. So th right there, my generosity is off the fucking table at this point. Uh, I, I, get, I get my fucking, really, I get my feelings hurt sometimes with the fucking way these guys behave on the podcast. Just no decency. Yeah, I, I sent I sent Derek those those Tim Tams because I thought it would be funny. <laughs> well, I've never even tasted a Tim Tam of the pack. I mean, I've had them before. I'm I believe, but uh, yeah, my Tim Tam experience is gone, man. I think yeah. they are, if they are on the set, they've melted into oblivion. And uh, <laughs> I, let let me rephrase that. I, we're gonna take a commercial break. I'm gonna go fucking check. I guarantee you they're not on the fucking set, Jared. <laughs> Stick with right. me. Be right back. All We're right. going to do Junior Special because why the fuck wouldn't we? <laughs> I'll be right back. Yeah. yeah. All right. The All verdict's right. in. Guilty. I pronounce Rocco and Derek <laughs> fucking guilty because there is not no sign of the box of Japanese candy or the package of Tim Tams. Both of them missing. Now, let me just check one more place, do my due diligence. In the fridge? Oh! Nothing in the fridge. No, wait! <laughs> Look at this. Jared? Uh huh. I have to apologize. I was wrong. And I somehow stood up too quickly and have gone uh, deaf in one ear. What is happening? We're having all kinds of issues here today. The Tim Tams are here. They are wow. in the fridge. I'm glad I did the due diligence. Shouts out. And they are unopened. Wow. I would have figured for sure they would have been gone. But I think what happened is they were melted, got stuck in the fridge, and forgotten. Because if wow. someone knows that they're there, I can't imagine this package would not be empty by now. So I'm going to have... I'm going to have two, Jared. Nah, cool. A modest amount. <laughs> Let's see. I'm, I'm surprised about that because Rocco, Rocco reminded me of like the Trix Rabbit or, or the Lucky Charms guy, you know? Well, who did, did you address <laughs> the package to, uh, to just Derek? Yeah, because like a month ago, Derek wanted something godlike and I figured if you give Tim Tams to Derek, he's like a god over Rocco. That's good. That is funny. <laughs> but, mm, God, those are good. I'm gonna put them back in here. We'll do updates. Next week, we'll check, and we'll see if the Tim Tams are still intact. <laughs> mm. Next week, those will be gone. <laughs> right. Now, Derek's probably going to get mad at me because I did open a package that was addressed to him. But do I have your extent and exclusive permission? Can uh, Let's just let's see if we can get this going right now. Uh, go ahead and can you just give me permission to eat Derek's one of Derek's Tim Tams? Yeah, you can eat one. You hear it here first, guys. 
me talking with my mouth full. Mmm. Delicious. We've hardly played any fucking sensible part of the game. <laughs> Seem to have been walking around killing grunts over and over. What are you doing? Patrol right now? I don't I guess know. I didn't doing... listen to the fuck. Just... It said. I thought there was a defined mission. I think there, I there's... did this in the alpha where I just you go can, to you can beacons. Pick patrol, which is where you just run around doing beacon missions, and then you can exit, go back to orbit, and then pick a pick a story mission. Hmm. Well, anything to uh, I don't know. Run around, shoot stuff. The game's yeah. pretty, the guns are fun, the controller vibrates nicely in my hand. Yeah. I got I, no... I, I played the, uh, the 360 beta and the PS4 beta and like, ooh, 360, it was, it was looking kind of rough, so... Yeah. Uh... Yeah. Kind of rough. So, get a mission. What... I used to do this all the time before, but this is the same one I got. Ether Hunt. Take out fallen dregs and vandals and gather ether soups you may depend on for life. And are there beacons for me now here, though? No, these are just two other players. See, I wish it would just show me where to go. You hit the, uh, the touchpad button and it shows you where to Does go. Does my ghost do? It's not coming up. It just says take out dregs and vandals, gather ether soups when I hit the huh, options. Weird. I don't know. And, you know... I guess this one is more powerful. I don't like... I like my little semi-auto three-shot burst deal. But, uh... This is a do for now. I should probably... Mm -hmm. I should try using my sniper out a little more. Anyway. We're going long form with the calls today. <clears throat> what else do you want to talk about, Jared? Uh... Ah, seems like you're done. Yeah, I'm kind of done. Alright. Hey, man. Thank you, uh... Once again for calling in. That guy's truck blew up. Oh, that was my truck. Yeah, no problem. I'll see you guys at game days. Damn. So. All right. Oh, hell yeah, game days. Shouts out.